guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am refilming a video that I filmed for you earlier this week, actually this past weekend. It's Black Friday right now. First thing, uh, scrapbook.com. They give away free stuff all the time. They were around when I was doing scrapbooking and I was really shocked to see that they were still around. Um, honestly, I was shocked to see that Tim Holtz is still around. Um, but anyway, uh, so I put in a code and I got this stamp set for free. And then while I was there, they told me that I could get this Christmas stamp for free. All I need to do is pay shipping. So I was like, cool, except my acrylic block is broken. So I think this was like four or five bucks. Bought the acrylic block, got the stamps for free. Shipping was super cheap. Got here pretty fast. Very excited about that. There's one down here. I mean, these are cute, but there's one down here that says handmade with love. So that's like perfect for my homemade Christmas gifts. Where am I going to put things? I have so much stuff on the sides here because I have so many videos to shoot and like projects and cute stuff. And there's just piles of stuff around me, uh, which is not fun. Um, okay, so that was scrapbook.com. I got this off Amazon. Uh, this is happy to plan. Desiree happy to plan. This is her fault. Um, I'm trying to see where there's no glare because I don't want to take it out of the package. Um, so this is obviously like an X-Acto knife type thing. It's from EK Tools. Which again, is another company I know from long ago that I'm surprised to see. I, I hope that's not an expiration date. Can you guys see that? I don't think these things expire. Um, Anyway, she uses this all the time, and it looks a lot safer and less frightening than my really scary orange Fiskars. So, I picked this up off Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I'm looking forward to trying that out. Uh, let's see what else did I get. Alright, then I got an order from Joann's. Um, they had a sale the week before. I think it was 50% or so off and I grabbed some stuff that was clearance. So I got shorted three items, uh, two sets of their, what the heck is the name of their little in-house thing, Park Lane, is that it? I think that's it. Um, so anyway, I had ordered uh, two sets of magnetic bookmarks because I love those things. And I ordered a set of the Miss Maker dashboards because that was the only Miss Maker thing I didn't have yet that I had wanted. They were super cheap and it was great. I got shorted those three items. So I spent a lot of time emailing back with customer service back and forth. They refunded my money and now when they're open, which hopefully is tomorrow, but maybe not until Monday, they gave me an actual customer service number to call and uh, they're going to reprocess those things at the price that I was paying for them in the first place and send them out to me. So I thought that was good. Uh, so the things that I did get, I'm always complaining that I can't get Happy Planner Washi around here because I can't. So I ordered these two. I wish these things had names. They don't have names, which I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, from, let's see, 2018. So they're really thin washi. I think they're really cute. So they'll make their way into spreads here and there, I'm sure. There's little accents on top of other washi, things like that. Uh, so I had grabbed those. Also wanted to try out one of their Park Lane notebooks. There was like an advertising thing on here that told you it was theirs. I don't know what happened to it. I probably threw it away thinking that the video was fine and that was, oh wait, is that it? Ah, see, I saved some packaging. Okay, so there it is. <laughs> All right, anyway, this is, I don't like the covers. They're very like slippery and super bendy. I'm not thrilled with that. The paper is nice. I like the paper. The dividers, aside from not being all that pretty, are very, like they're thinner than Happy Planner dividers. Uh, but I like notebook paper and you do get, like this is plain and it says, remember why you started, follow your heart. It's got a whole bunch of different sayings on the bottom. The inside of the thing, the dividers seem to have the um, 
saying so this one says powerful beautiful and brave and you've got grid paper here dare to begin and you've got dot grid paper here dreams don't expire and you've got lined paper here so i will probably be getting rid of that cover i just wanted to check out one of their notebooks and see what the difference was and now i know the difference plus the let's see can we get this on camera one of the discs came broken the rest of them are the the flat discs so they're also like very they feel really cheap compared to happy planner discs like yeah these are just more the happy planner ones are just they feel better i don't know how else to describe it they feel more sturdy i guess um, all right, so while I have this out, I'll show you this. I grabbed one of these covers, um, probably to put one of this year's planners in. I only got the one. They weren't that expensive, $9 maybe. It wasn't that bad. It comes with two cards like this so that you can label what your planner is. I don't really know if I'm going to do that, but I think... The way this works is you put your planner in actually backwards and then snap this on from the back yeah, well they have the same number of discs as a happy planner planner um, so you pop those on and then you know, you're in here and you've got your little tag. This obviously is smaller than a, a happy planner, um, but it does stick out more than I would think it did. Um, maybe that's just because of the size difference. I'll have to check it with like an actual planner, but um, that's just, it's a little weird, but I thought it was a good idea because I have all my used planners shelves and you know they have to be dusted and everything so not that this would keep them from being dusted this feels really nice by the way and it's got happy planner to boss on the back um it just feels nice like it's not like leather or anything you know pleather i think is the word my mother would use for this but um it feels nice which is good Nothing worse than when you buy something and it feels cheap, like these covers. Okay, we'll, we'll be getting rid of those covers. All right, I can't get them off the screen. <laughs> Too much stuff. Uh, let's see, what else did I get from Joanne's? Okay, I grabbed a skinny mini notebook, which I've never had a skinny mini anything. Um, it's got the terribly tiny discs and the small amount of writing space. This is for another video, which you guys will see in a couple of weeks. It's the only reason I got it. I was actually looking for it. I couldn't find one anywhere. It won't stay, so we're going to put it over there. Okay, what else did I get from Joanne's? Ah. Okay, so you know it was my friend's birthday and I got her all the Zodiac stuff. There was one last thing that was coming for her gift and it was this because I thought it was cute and it matched it well. And I grabbed one because I got one of these in black before and some of this stuff is good and some of this stuff is not. So this is like their idea of a planner companion. Let me see. I'm missing, I'm missing parts. I left them in the box. This is the problem with having everything unpacked already. Although, I'm sure it's nice to listen to less, slightly less crinkling. You're still getting crinkling. Okay, so they call it an accessory kit. And they tell you it includes 63 pieces. So, you get this, which you can pop in your planner or your notebook and it says keep going and it's got the little tassel i think these are cute i have the black one um well the one from the black kit i have that in my work planner so i can put this in one of my other planners this is a notebook it's 
gummed at the top, but it's punched on the side. Um, actually, I guess it's gummed on the bottom, isn't it? That's weird. Um, so anyway, my <laughs> youngest daughter has one of these from that black kit, and she really likes it. So you get like a to-do list on the back. Well, I guess if you look at it from this side, then it's gummed at the top. And then this is just, you know, more list without check boxes in the blue. It's pretty. Um, so you can make a list and you can tear them out. She has this whole thing in the front of her planner. And then she just takes out sheets when she needs them. Uh, let's see. Little star gold paper clips. Those are okay. Um, the stickers are way smaller than our stickers. Um, and when I say our stickers, I mean Happy Planner stickers, um, because the majority of what I have is Happy Planner. So the gold on this stuff, I don't like. It's too, I don't know, it's kind of like brass looking. I don't know if it's picking it up. I'm just not fond of the, the gold foil in this kit. But some of these are really cute and you can layer them. So they're not terrible. They're just not my favorite, but like things like this, where it's all that solid gold. Ah, there we go. Now you can see how annoying it is. That's just, it's too much. It's way too much. So here's like moon phases. Um, there's a cute little alphabet, very tiny letters, whole thing of washi strips. Um, I think we looked at that one already. We looked at that one already. This one's flags and like headers. They're all the triangle kind that I tend to want to cut the side off of. And there, there's that overdone gold again. The only place the gold is okay is this sheet of stickers. Um, these are those constellations and stuff like they have on the, the Happy Planner Zodiac stuff. None of it's labeled, but it's like little constellations and stuff, and it, it's cute for that. They give you a pouch. It's like really rough canvas, but it's got the constellation patterns on it. Um, but this is really, this is rough. I need to get my work friend a better pouch this is not cool i opened this after i sent the stuff to the office because it was her birthday and she was going on vacation um all right so you get some page dividers and they're double-sided so like this side is this cute light blue and then this is darker blue this i don't care for at all this is cute it's like they just took double-sided scrapbook paper and made page dividers. Um, that side's better looking than this one, although the moons are cute. And then this is a folder. Pocket on one side. This is another folder, pocket on one side. And then this is interesting. This is a folder. You put it in here, and then it opens like this. I don't think I would ever use anything like that. Uh, then you get a decent sized stack of note paper. Their note paper is not bad. I like their note paper. Um, you know, cute blue and stars down the side. It just says notes, it's dot line paper. We all know I love notebook paper. So that's definitely staying. This is going, oh my God. Do you see that? These are like sticky tabs. Oh my goodness. That is just, like, this is the last thing that's in there, and when I got to it, I thought to myself, where are my sunglasses? That's just too much gold for me. But a lot of this stuff is cute, um, so hopefully she's enjoying it, but I'm definitely getting her a better pouch as part of her Christmas gift. Yeah, we're definitely running out of space here. It's all at a premium. All right, what else did I get from Joanna's? Uh, okay, this is the last time you're going to see me buy one of these. I now have two years worth. Two years worth of daily sheets. 
that's plenty. I'm done buying them. If you ever see me buy them again, yell at me. Unless I got them for like a dollar. Because really, if they're a dollar, I'm going to buy them. Okay, and then I placed an order from Happy Planner. And I ordered two things. I had um, wanted to use my... I have all that credit saved up, all those points. And I never get to use them. And I never, as soon as I go to use them, they have a sale. And I can't use them. It's driving me crazy. So there was no sale going on. It was like pre-Black Friday. It was like, they're not going to put anything on sale. I found a window. I ordered my stuff. So... This, by the way, is the sticker they put in with the order. I don't know. I mean, it's a die-cut sticker. It's a flower. It's cute. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a thing again because there weren't any stickers in the orders for a while. I don't know what. Maybe they just didn't have any. I don't know. So I ended up ordering the Christmas classic size filler paper, which I said I was not going to order. I ordered it anyway. Um, this was, like I said... Joanne's had, oh no, this was Happy Planner. So this was just my credit. I wish I had the packing slip because now I don't remember what I paid. But it wasn't much. I used like $25 off. So I got this and I finally got my recipe organizer that I have been waiting for. So it has plastic discs. I will change them to metal, but they're not ugly. Like there's a lot of ugly plastic discs. These aren't ugly. I just prefer metal. I like the inside. I like the front page. It's got some useful conversions over there. And then you've got a tab that says favorites. And here's what it looks like. It's got some rose gold foil on it. Main dishes, no foil. I like that. It extends to the next side. Side dishes. The filler paper, by the way, is exactly the same throughout. Um, so this is the... Is this the front cover of this, or is this the front cover? Yeah, it's the front cover of this. They have a meal planner in this same kind of style, and I didn't like that. I liked the one I got better. So this is soups and salads, bon appetit. Healthy, gather with grateful hearts, which we just did. I hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving. Breakfast. This has gold foil. It says the world. What? Oh, bake the world a better place. You would think they would have that on like desserts or something. Speaking of desserts, meals and memories made here for desserts. And then we've got miscellaneous. Cooking is love you can taste. A lot of these dividers are bread and, you know, I don't want to drive anyone crazy or anything, but I don't really eat bread or carbs. So that's kind of not cool. And then it's got this come at the top market list in the back so you can do shopping lists. And then it's got some kind of little checklist down here, I guess, for categories. Uh, it's cute. I don't, I mean, I'm a, I imagine I'm going to use it at some point, but I love those giant shopping lists I got so much better. So I'm very happy to finally have this. I now have all the planners from the fall 2021 release that I wanted. Um, there's like one or two little things that I still want to get, which I ordered a couple of them with the seasonal cyber deal what day was the first deal tuesday wednesday whichever one that was so in fact i am anxiously awaiting friday mystery bags can't wait to see what that's all about okay let's see what else did i get okay in the mail i also got and you guys have seen these flipped through so i'm not doing it i always say i'm not going to do it and then i do it and i'm really i'm not doing it this is from Amber Plans Her Day. This is her winter collection. I did not buy her prior book. Um, I don't really know. I'm going to have to use these and see how I like them. I don't actually know her or her stuff at all. But I heard people talking about it and I figured okay. Making everything slide. Uh, I figured okay I'll, I'll give this one a shot because it's, you know, it's got boxes and it's winter themed and I like that. 
And then I also got in the mail, I bought two of these. I did not buy two of the winter collection, but I bought two of these from Mojo Jojo Plans. This is another, I don't remember if I showed this already or not, so I'm throwing it in here. Um, so this is another date book. She calls it Date It. Uh, like the one that Kelva Plan, Heather from Kelva Plan came out with. Um, so between these two and the two I bought from Heather, I can redate like every old planner I come across for a very long time. This book, by the way, if she still has it available, and I think it's sold out, this one is way more pages. This one is 50 pages. So there is a price increase for this book, but it's just this one because it is so much bigger. And there's multiple fonts. There's, I mean, it's really nice really really nice different sizes different fonts paper and clear i think there's like two pages of each or something so this is a really great thing to have so if it's not sold out you might want to go grab it let's see i think that is everything from this box which is all of the things that i originally filmed for you that turned out really badly so now there's stuff that came in the mail. There's not really that much stuff because I did a video for DEK Designs. I love those stickers. It's it's time to do the December monthly, so you'll be seeing them again <laughs> um, very, very soon. So I was on Instagram a week ago, a week or so ago, and uh, you know you get those alerts when somebody likes your posts. So I went and looked to see who had liked my post and I had a ton of posts that were liked by Wrong Wrong DeVoe. And I screenshotted that and I sent that to another planner who I consider to be a friend of mine and I think actually knows her. And I said, what is this about? And she was like, oh, she's so sweet. And I'm thinking to myself, where, how did she find my, why is she clicking on my stuff? So that was just awesome. So I followed her. She was having a pre Black Friday sale. And I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking, Pam, you don't like people in your planner. You hate people in your planner. I agree. I totally hate people in my planner. Absolutely. Um, and the people stickers are not going in my planner, but this stuff, some of it is cute and some of it is useful. So I'm just going to deal with the people. So this is the new pouch that she came out with. Like I have a whole thing here. Actually, I placed two orders and they all came, they came like a day apart. So this is a new pouch that she made. It's got like a marbling in the back. Make yourself proud. It's got her fashion girls on it. Wrong, wrong LLC. Um, gold hardware. Does it say wrong, wrong on it? No. It unzips, obviously. It's got the black interior. Puffs out. You can stick a good amount of stuff in here. This is cute. Ooh, maybe I could give this to my work friend. This is a much better pouch. Or maybe I could just buy another one. There's a Black Friday sale going on now. But anyway, since I followed her, I got onto her list for her pre-Black Friday sale. And the deals were a little bit better than the Black Friday sale. Um, so I was very happy about that. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff. I figured let's see what her stuff is about because all I know about Wrong Wrong is her Happy Planner line. And I'll be perfectly honest, I didn't like or understand her line. So here's the next thing I got. And this, I don't care about people being on the front. This is cool. All right. Inside cover is cute. This is all, not the back side, just the front side. This is all sticker paper. This is a reusable sticker book. Can you imagine, like, how many of these pages that I save to throw stickers on? It's Christmas. Let's grab a Christmas book. Well, it's Black Friday. Thanksgiving's over. It's Christmas. Okay, so you take your stickers and put them on here and then when you want them you just take them back off and then you don't have to put it try to put it back in your book which 
you know, let's face it, we've seen me screw up this many, many times, and I'm probably not going to be able to get those stickers off. I almost made it with the Santa. I might have a small problem with him. So, this is really cool because I have little sheets all over the place, and I've also got you know, homemade sticker books and stuff full of things, but this just seemed like a really good way to store those and then you know when I have like three stickers left I don't want to use the whole sheet for three stickers this seemed like a better idea these are some kind of I'm not sure what this is okay do I have a book upside down All right, so the opening for these is here, but that's the front of the book. I don't think I understand what that's for. I'm gonna have to ask somebody else. Maybe I'm thinking wrong about what you, I mean, maybe because they stick together so well, like a sheet of stickers or something would fit in there and it would stay closed. I don't know, but the inside cover is just as cute as the other one, and then the back has a picture of Wrong Wrong, and let's face it, she is adorable, um, and this is a nice pattern here, it's just, you know, it's got people, it says hands off my stickers, sticker album, that is, that is cute, um, just, you know, there's people, uh, let's see, what else did we get, we got, alright, so she's got new sticker books. She released new stuff for this pre-Black Friday sale. So this one is called Heels and Hustle and I got this one because it has functional elements. Although they are somewhat small. Maybe. Some of them are small. Um, these are like pay bills and you know those obviously not going to use. Um, who knows, maybe she'll change my mind about people in my planner, but so far no one's been able to do that. So we got like this marbling here and this black and you know I love the little lists like this. Habit trackers, small boxes for appointments, doctor's appointments, bills due, calls to make plain boxes. How often do we want, how many sticker books do we buy just to get plain boxes? Lots of them. And, okay, so, people, lots of people, but there's still blank ones at the top. People, but there's blank ones at the top. <laughs> and maybe I could just layer something over the people. Um, but these are like nice sized boxes, actually. And these are on clear sticker paper. So you've got circles, flags to do this week, more flags today. These are cute. There's more doctor's appointment, lunch date, church, gym, heels and hustle. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean other than that's this line's name. Uh, shopping, I need lots of those. Um, all right, now you've got people and more people and more people, but like, like I don't have a problem with these things. Like these are cute, um, you know, the shoe and the pillow and stuff. Um, it's, it's, I, I have an aversion to people. So this is kind of the same, but not really. And here's more people, but now you've got more stuff down here and up here that aren't people. And Rise and Grind, Sleep Masks. I have a sleep mask. Mine has Bluetooth and I listen to audiobooks, but I do have one. So it's about the same size. I don't think, no, it is not the same size as a Happy Planner book. Where did I put what I have? All right, here's a JoJo book. Not quite the size of JoJo's new giant book either. Um, that might just be the nature of the book, but it's in, this is one of the things that you're going to need special storage for, because it, it's not the same size as the Happy Planner books. So, the majority of that, very cute. 
And I got this on purpose. It says Boss Babe. It's cute. Um, this is all sticky notes. And this is, like, look at this. This is a lot of sticky notes. Like, this is not, and they seem pretty sticky, too. Uh, so, you know, I don't know how much it bothers me that there's people on sticky notes. I don't think I've had sticky notes with people on them before, but I'm not sure how much it bugs me. We'll see. But there's plenty that don't. I don't have a problem with the shoes. Uh, there's weekly goals here, kind of like a habit tracker. There's... I don't know, I guess that's like a mood tracker, hydration tracker, and then these little flag style ones. And I used so many, like I completely destroyed two tiny Happy Planner sticky notes the other night, just putting stuff on my monthly calendar. So I'm always happy to have more sticky notes. This I think might be for sale on her website right now, but if you placed an order, I think it was $100 or $75. I don't know. It was something like that. It was some really not huge amount of money. And you got a holiday sticker pack. So, yeah. I can use those in that one. Uh, habit trackers are fine. Most of the boxes are okay. No people. Oh, well, all right. Except for that washi strip. No people. Um, and I know that's her thing. She illustrates fashion. I understand. I'm just not a people in my planner kind of person. Uh, so these are cute. And then obviously, not really going to be using these. But the interesting thing is that the background is patterned. So you could, could use this. Like, you could cut a strip of this if you wanted it. Um, because that is a really cool, you know, usually it's just clear sticker paper. And this is patterned, so that's cool. So not, you know, there's a lot of people in here. But it came free with an order I was buying anyway. Decorative stuff. I like all of these. And all of these. And a couple of these that don't involve the people. Same deal here because there are like these phrases are actually separate maybe not that one but some of these are separate from the people so those are fine so it's just a cute little holiday sticker pack um, I have a lot of planners and I do have a lot of Christmas stickers but you know always good to have a few more and then let's see what else did I got I think the rest of this is washi. I'm pretty sure that the rest of this is just. Come on. There we go. Washi. I ordered some kind of bundle. So it came with the Heels and Hustle sticker book, the pouch, and two of these washi tapes. So it came with this black with gold kind of splotches washi tape which hopefully isn't getting too much glare I can't really tell um, and then you know it's got people on top of it and it came with this marble washi which is nice and neutral and you can layer with things and that matches the background of that pouch from the beginning of this particular segment and then I ordered separately, I think this is how this worked. Um, this is holiday washi. So it's got gold foil and like Christmas trees and presents and it says joy and things like that. And that's really cute. I don't have a lot of Christmas washi. This, let me put the packaging down because this is the last of the stuff. So these two I ordered separately. I think it's hard to remember now because the packing list isn't the same as what was on the emails so this is this really pretty black foil it's gold foil black and it's got all these florals on it and you guys know I love florals so that's just gorgeous so of course 
I bought two of them. <laughs> and then this one was cute. Sorry about the crinkling. But at least I had a shrink wrapped one to show you. This one is not shrink wrapped. And it's not going to show up. Alright, so this is all like little, like, I guess it goes this way. There's like makeup and perfume bottles and bows. And it's just cute. I figured I could find some stuff to use this with. Maybe like New Year's spreads or something like that. So, um, that's everything that I got from Wrong Wrong. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me comments. What did you think? Am I crazy for buying Wrong Wrong stuff? Am I crazy for buying that last butterfly package so that I have two full years of daily pages? Uh, let me know and uh, share the video with a couple of your friends and I will see you in the next one.